Hello YouTube, this is uh, from Lancaster Online. Man goes to jail for sex crimes. Amish man. Um, despite urgings from leaders of a local Amish community in Melbourne, Glick was jailed on Wednesday for having three year sexual relationship with a young girl. Uh, sexually assaulting the girl about a hundred times. And uh, it, it The story keeps going down here, and uh, it, was, it was ordered two to four years in state prison, followed by six years on probation. Must also swear by the state police for the rest of his life. Click supporters had suggested extended counseling would suffice. I'm tremendously impressed and pleased that your community has gathered around you in support. Ashworth said, "What I'm." I'm concerned about is that we do not we not lose sight of the fact that you had sexual contact with a child that can't be ignored um, he's a married man with five children and and here here the prosecutor or the the, the attorney Glick's attorney said, says that his client and victim were in love with one another he said they often came in contact with one another and, and there were sparks. How do you rule out love? Reed, Reed asked the psychologist who determined Glick to be sexually violent predator. There are sexual deviants who love five-year-olds, Dr. Steen said in, her, in response. That's what pedophilia means um, keeps on going and uh, said that uh, the victim was wasn't willing to forgive forget and move on uh, in fact uh, it says uh, something up here one place where, where uh, she was angry about this whole thing but in fact uh, Trooper name there. Members of Gleek's support team were at the victim's home when the officer went there last spring to interview her. I had to ask them to leave. The trooper said that, that months later, 25 people showed up at, at the preliminary hearing in support of Gleek. So they had, had people coming that were not there for for the victim but for the support in support of the the perpetrator nobody was there from the community to support the victim or her family that's a sad right there ash was you know that that's the, the judge agreed with prosecutors that a judge that a girl was was traumatized by the inappropriate relationship. You can't take back what you have done, he told Glick. That is something the little girl is going to have to live with. Ashworth said he sentenced Glick on the low end of state guidelines but told him his rehabilitative efforts should have come years ago. All these things you're doing now, you should have done them before you, you victimized this young lady. Ashworth received numerous letters from on Glick's behalf, many including references to scripture. <laughs> it, here's the funny part about what the church said. Uh, while, while handing down the sentence, quoted a verse from the book of Galatians, For what a man may sow, that also he shall reap. Glick was told. And here's some, uh, some comments. How lovely this community his community rallies around around in support of him and forgets the victim. What is wrong with these people? Why do they think they have no accountability and should not follow the law the way other folks do? Tough they're, they're talking about the about the photo that was at the top. 
This man got away with a short sentence of, for what he has done. There's no excuse for an adult to take advantage of a child or a minor, especially when they know it is wrong. Well, that in there's there's never going to be an end to this until they they stop supporting the perpetrators it uh, it just keeps going so I don't know it just it creates an environment where where the men that are in the community think that it's encouraged so to speak because they don't uh, they don't uh, get punished for any of this but anyway I'll talk to you later. Bye.